Hi, Daily Dosers. My name's Kara, and I'm the communications pastor here at North Coast Church. This week, we're looking at the theme of peace on earth. It's a phrase we hear a lot during this Advent season. When we stop and look at the word peace, we often think of our lives without conflict, without any interruption, perfect harmony, things going our way. But that isn't exactly the type of peace the Bible had in mind when it described Christ in Isaiah 9 as the Prince of Peace. Today, specifically, I want to look at John chapter 16, which were Jesus' words uh, in verse 33. This is the part of John where Jesus is about to leave them. He's about to be crucified, and he's talking with his disciples about how he's going to leave and return, and he'll see them in a little while. Jesus goes in-depth about how he, it's going to be better for us that he goes and the disciples aren't understanding, but he's explaining that the Holy Spirit is who he's going to leave with us. In John 16, 33, Jesus' words say, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Here the peace of Christ that's described is presence over an abundance of harmony and things going our way. We can't eliminate conflict in the world or around us um, or fix all our circumstances, but we can lean into and expand upon the presence of Jesus' peace in our lives and in our hearts and in our interactions with others. The presence of Christ in our life is the constant and consistent connection with the Holy Spirit that produces that peace that's available at our fingertips at all times. So my encouragement and my challenge for all of us, myself included this week, and in the Advent season is to stop long enough in our day-to-day -day lives, and today especially, and think about what spiritual practices or disciplines or opportunities and activities help you experience Jesus' peace. Is that time in silence with him today? Is that pausing and breathing in the peace of Christ and exhaling out the burdens that Jesus is ready to carry for you? Is that removing distractions, taking a break from social media? Is it forgiving someone that has been um, has hurt you or that you've been struggling to forgive? Because I believe that when we forgive others, the peace of Christ dwells within us in that process. As we trust Jesus with everything in our lives, as he said, he gives us peace. He has overcome the world. We know how the story ends. And so just as Christ said to the disciples, I want to say to you from his living word, he has told us these things so that in him we may have peace. In this world, we will continue to have trouble, but we are to take heart because Christ has overcome the world and we can experience his peace dwelling within us through continuing to cultivate our personal relationship with him. God bless you, Daily Dosers. May you have a day filled with peace.